Hey guys, welcome to another week of Spring Into Shape. Uh, this week I wanted to talk about a couple of things. First of all, I'll let you know of my progress. Actually, my weight has not been that good. Well, it was okay. I weighed myself yesterday morning on Sunday morning and I was about 168.5. So I was like, oh, that's excellent. And then I went to brunch on Sunday. It was, we went for an early Mother's Day brunch with my sister and my mom and I. And then I weighed myself this morning and I was 170. So, I mean, I get that I say you shouldn't weigh yourself every single day or you're gonna drive yourself crazy. Um, but that was disappointing. So, yeah, I've kind of gained a little bit, but that's just from all that stuff that I ate yesterday at French. Aside from that, looking at my inches, which tells you more because with weight, it's always, you know, you fluctuate with water weight and everything. Um, but inches, uh, comparing to a month ago, um, even though I know I did some sort of update last week, but um, I'm gonna kind of update my inches at the beginning of each month because again, I shouldn't be measuring myself like every week or I'm gonna make myself crazy. Um, but I am down a little bit, which I'm surprised about because honestly, April wasn't that big of a, kind of heavy workout week because I did have my crazy week two weeks ago, yeah. Um, but you know, I'm still very pleased. So I am down an inch in my bust, an inch in my waist, and then also my, well, my hips are the same as they were a month ago. And then a month ago when I weighed myself and kind of charted it, because I have a little chart going on my computer, I was 173 pounds, so I have lost. Um, so now this week, actually I wanna, again, a couple, talk about a couple things, including my Fitbit as well, because I had a couple people asking about it. Um, but this, well not this week, but this kind of my closer term goals, obviously I talked about you know my weight goals, where I wanna be in the future, but I have decided to, instead of just focusing on weight goals, I'm gonna also focus again on exercise goals but a specific one is with running um i want to try to make my 5k time faster and then also in turn i will work on making my 10k time faster but i still you know even though i was very pleased with the 10k results from last week um an hour 10 i'd still would like to have them quicker but again sometimes having an hour time and then plus having a shower or a bath after it adds you know extra time in the day that I don't always have, um, especially cause I don't, when I come home from dance, I don't wanna go for a run. Um, so I'm just gonna try to stick with a couple five Ks and then I will work my way up. And yeah, basically I was like, I need to work a lot before the half marathon, but that's still months away. Um, but so I want to try to get my five K time under 30 minutes, which I don't think is that far off. I'm at 33 minutes right now. Um, and then before I was 34 minutes, so I'm already down a little bit. And then kind of long, long-term goal, I'd like to have my 10K under an hour, which is ridiculously fast. Um, my splits have to be like six minutes or under, which is fast. Um, right now I'm about, actually my fastest split for like kilometer splits are about 6.30. Um, all the way up to 7.30 and those kind of, uh, when I do the 10K at the like the kilometer six, seven, eight, nine mark, and then I get a fast burst at the end. So I have a long way to go, but I figured a sh quick a short term goal, which I definitely think I can shave three minutes off my 5K time. Um, so I'm going to try to run more often and that's gonna be my main goal is to really get that time off. Um, and obviously in turn, the more I run, then I'll start to lose weight as well and improve my time. Um, in one of my Facebook groups for the Disneyland half marathon, people were saying, or someone posted that that him and his wife they run and they just said I just want to prove that you know hard work and dedication does pay off when they did the princess half marathon in January their time was about two hours and 45 minutes um, which is kind of close to mine I think I had 250 something so close and then they showed just on their watches or their Garmin tracking watches whatever um, their time today and so we're you know four months later and they showed it was two hours and 21 minutes so that that's a lot to get like I can't even imagine being under 230 so but anyway so that was just kind of really motivation and then I asked oh how often do you run but then they're like we run 5k every weekday and then we do a 10k um, on like a Friday and then a longer run on a Sunday and then we have one day rest day so that and I was like wow that's truly dedicated so I don't think I'll be able to run that much um, but my yeah short-term goal is going to get my 5k time under um, 
30 minutes. And then once I've achieved that, then I'm going to then work towards 10K times. Um, so that's the first thing. And then the second thing is um, I had a wonderful email from one of my subscribers, Aneta, and I just wanted to say that, you know, I really appreciate you taking the time and for other people who have emailed me as well. Um, and just telling me about their weight loss journey and how I inspired them to, you know, like start working out or eating healthy. And I mean, every time when I hear one of those stories, I get more inspired as well. Like even with this video, I should have filmed this video yesterday. And I then um, I woke up this morning and I was like, oh, should I film it? Should I just leave it to next week? But then after reading her email and I was like, oh, that's so sweet. Cause you guys are my motivators as well. You know, me having to come on here and you just tell you how I'm doing that totally motivates me when I love hearing your stories and your when you email me so thank you so much and yeah I know I had mentioned um, if you have a Fitbit to add me and we can keep on track uh, with each other but obviously I know so many people don't have Fitbits so you know if you want to email each other or message on Facebook um, or on YouTube probably email is your best bet uh, because I don't get as many emails whereas the other ones I get a lot of messages um, but you know either of them work um, so anyway I want to talk a little bit more about the Fitbit. So this is going to be kind of a long video, so I'm sorry, but yeah, I just wanted to talk about a lot of stuff. And I was thinking of doing like a Fitbit review on its own, but I don't know. I just, I just want to share my opinions with it without kind of going too much in depth. Um, otherwise, if I do a full review, I want to make sure that I know like all the sides to it and really like study it and look into it more. Um, so here I just want to share my ideas. So I have the Fitbit One. Um, in my opinion, this is the best one for me because they have the ones that are go around your wrist. And honestly, I would not wear it all the time. I would not wear it to work. Um, like when when I had like the drama concert. Um, like it's just kind of like a rubbery kind of band around your wrist and I was wearing short sleeves I was performing on stage so I did not want to have that on there it doesn't it's not like a gold tennis bracelet looking thing you know it's, it's you can people can tell it's some sort of thing uh, anyways so with this one it is very small actually it's even smaller it's this big ah. um, and then it charges you have um, a little con contraption that you plug it into here and then you can plug it into your USB port um, and then it comes with this thing and you can this rubber holder and then you can clip it somewhere so I clip it like I had mentioned before um, like between or on my bra between my boobs um, but you can also clip, clip it like at your waist I just figure there no one's gonna see it um, whereas if I'm wearing like a slim fitted shirt you'd be able to see it on my pants now the only thing I have realized when I'm running and I wear this um, my boobs do kind of rub up against this and it causes a little bit of irritation um, not that it's a big deal maybe if I was running every day or then honestly I could put it somewhere else when I run because then I don't care if it's like you know on my the side but anyways just letting you know sometimes I'm like oh why are those bumps there and yes so it's rubbing against the plastic here um anyways <laughs> that's just a side note um so I I do like this um and then I'll show you kind of with the app and I like so it shows this is today's app and I went on a nice long dog walk so that's why I already have 6,000 steps and I mean I honestly don't know how they calculate active minutes like I don't know how fast oops I did something I don't know how fast you have to be going again I would have up I would have looked into this more if I was doing a full review on it but I haven't um, because I mean I wasn't specifically active I was walking I guess somewhat fast but not like I wasn't running, I was just dog walking. Um, whereas other times when I have like an hour long dance class, even though I do have some downtime in between, like we'll run the dance and then he'll like, our teacher will say, talk about it for a minute and then we'll go to our spaces and run it again. But instead of like, and we'll do that for the full hour, but again, it will only say like 35 minutes. And I was like, no, I'm pretty sure my heart rate was elevated the whole hour. Um, but you know that's how it goes now the one thing that i don't really like about this is well it it will track you know how many calories you've burned but it tracks it for your whole day so even if you're just you know sitting around breathing you're still burning calories obviously not very much and so technically you're also supposed to um it says start a food plan on here so you can click this oh no calories here and then you can search for um well let's see you can add you can add like apple 
and then it will say, you know, you can choose how much, and then it will tell you how many calories. And so if you would record everything that you eat, then it's good. Then you can see, oh, I took in 2,500 calories and I burned 3,000 calories. So then you're like, oh, okay, good. I burnt more than I have eaten. But honestly, I'm not someone that counts calories. I'm aware of how many calories I eat, but I'm not like I've never done that. It will drive me crazy if I, I know people who do that and it drives me crazy just seeing them do that. Now if you do that, good for you. I just do not have the patience for that. So for me, um, uh, since I don't calculate how many calories I've eaten, I've just seen this morning, oh, I've already burned a thousand calories. And I was like, oh, that's excellent. I'm, you know, I can now have that huge chocolate bar or whatever because I just burnt that much. So I almost wish that it wouldn't kind of calculate all your calories, I don't know. I wish there was a way you could change it that it would just look at your calories burned, um, like when you were doing active minutes. And I know that's a different app and you know, but obviously when I run, I use my run keeper. And so that tells me how many calories I burnt just on that running trip. Um, but I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I understand why it shows you your whole calories for everything, but with me, it just makes me see that I've burned a lot of calories. Like even if first thing in the morning when I haven't really done much, it's like you've burned 500 calories. I'm like, oh, excellent. But then I realized I already ate like a thousand calories or something if I had something, you know, I don't know. I just, I'm kind of going in circles here, but I wish that either I was more dedicated to actually <laughs> like record how much I've eaten all the time, or then there was an option where you could just like count the calories, not like your regular, you know, just hanging around, just only your active minutes. I don't know. Now, when I'm saying this out loud, it seems kind of stupid, but <laughs> anyways. Um, and again, like if I don't do a lot of activity, like yesterday, let's see. Well, not yesterday, yesterday was a good day, but like Saturday, I worked all day and stuff and I didn't do anything in the evening. I only burnt 5,000 calories for the whole day or did 5,000 steps for the whole day. Um, and again, it didn't motivate me. Like I said last time, it doesn't motivate me to do more steps. You know, it just makes me feel bad about myself that I didn't do a lot of steps. And when I did, when I first got it, I did actually, it did motivate me a little bit. Um, so I was like, oh, so I'd like pace around the house for a little bit, or I just go up and down the stairs to get a couple more floors in. Um, but that lasted about two weeks. And then now I'm like, oh, I'm so out of shape or I'm so, you know, I didn't do that much. Um, but I do think it's cool. Like basically I use it as a pedometer. That's my main thing that I use it for. Um, and actually two things. The first is the pedometer, which you can get the exact same if you wear a pedometer. But again, I like that you can put it somewhere where you don't have to only have it on your pant leg um, or your, your like pants. Um, and the second thing is, is the sleep tracker. Not that I do anything about that. Exactly. Like I don't take anything from, I don't change my sleeping habits, but I honestly, I like knowing how often and like how often I toss and turn and how many hours I sleep, which again makes me feel bad because I do not get enough sleep as I should, which I now definitely can see that. But otherwise I'm like, oh yeah, I got about seven hours. And then now I'm like, oh, it was five and a half hours. Great. Um, but with sleeping, I then put the, this thing on my, the top of my pants, but it does come with a wristband that they suggest you put it on. But again, I don't want to sleep with the wristband on. Um, so it may not be the most accurate but it's still pretty accurate so you click on sleep and yes last time I only got five hours and 30 minutes of sleep um, and you could do it to the side and so you can see here um, actually I was pretty a sound sleeper I was restless for one minute um, at one point what time is this oh I can't see backwards but around 1 30 or no is that two o'clock 2 40 anyways around that time but I still slept pretty soundly um, and then you can also check like how often you sleep. What is that? Yeah, that's like a week's time. So you can see some days that was not good. I think that was my four and a half hour night. Um, anyways, I just think it's, it's pretty cool. And then here, this was um, a couple days ago and then all of a sudden, or this was two days ago, and then all of a sudden at this point where you can see it says I was awake for eight minutes, that's when Tripsy just woke up and started run down, ran downstairs and started barking. So of course I had to see what was wrong. So then, I don't know, it was just cool. Then you saw that I was like restless before and after, and then I went, eventually got back to sleep and then I was awake again. Um, or then other ones, oh yeah, that was my four and a half hour tonight. But at least it was pretty sound asleep. It just kind of was restless at the very beginning. Anyways, I just think it's cool because look at that. That was a nice, perfect sleep. 
Ah, I did not move at all. Excellent. And then there I was pretty restless. I don't know. I just think that's interesting for me to know. Again, not that I do anything about that. If only, if anything, it makes me feel bad that I only got, you know, four and a half or five hours sleep. Um, but I think once there was like an eight hour sleep day, so that was pretty good. Uh, <laughs> uh, but it's, you know, right before I turn off the light, then I'll just put, you know, begin sleep now. Or, and then as soon as I wake up, I hit that I'm awake again. So that's the main thing. I like it for knowing my steps and tracking my sleep. Um, would I recommend getting one? I mean, I think it's, it's definitely cool to know and I think if you would use the food like calculating how much you eat every day then I think it's a wonderful tool but for me would it be worth the 99 bucks that I had to pay for it probably not like honestly I don't need the sleep thing it's just a cool thing to look at and I mean they sell like even high quality pedometers for like 15 or 20 bucks um I just remember the free ones that would come in like your special case cereal boxes that I would use. Um, but those ones, they were just like the cheap ones. But so now I know they do make some really nice ones. Um, so honestly, I don't need it. But honestly, I like that it connects to my phone um, so I can see it on here. And every so often I do, um, like throughout the day I look at how, ooh, how many things, or like right before my walk, I had like, I don't know, like a hundred steps because I just walked around the house. And then as soon as I got in the car before I drove away, I was like, oh, excellent. Now it says 6,000 something steps. I'm like that was a good walk. Um, but I don't know. I mean that if there was a pedometer that would sync up to your phone, which there very well might be, I would probably for me personally, I would have rather bought that instead of paid a hundred dollars for this um but if yeah you think you're gonna use everything that it can offer then i think it is a good idea um and yeah i like it. it's cool that it tracks floors and stuff that it's just it lets you know um and then also which i do like is that not only does it do the steps it also tells you the distance so that's cool too you know a couple times i have when i go for long walks i'll put my run keeper on even uh, just like i'll say i'm walking but again this is just nice that it has it all on there Anyway, it's just an extremely long video, so I'm going to be quiet, um, so I'm going to go. But I just, yeah, I wanted to update you guys more with the run or the Fitbit and then I'll just say my kind of short term goals for the 5k and then just that you guys motivate me too. So thank you so much for your emails and, you know, sharing your stories with me as well. All right, so that is it today and I will catch you guys next week. Bye.